Two questions. Thank you. Two questions. Um, uh, about the agri uh, agricultural transition. Uh, it, it, the Noble Lord the Minister is very enthusiastic about the number of people, uh, farmers, who would take it up. Do, do you have any sort of estimate, or is that too difficult to find? And secondly, what happens about monitoring practices of farmers who don't sign up? Is there a process for that? Now, on the crabs, <laughs> um, Gary Caldwell, who is a senior lecturer in applied marine biology at Newcastle University, so a well-respected expert, he says that there is absolutely no direct evidence for disease amongst the crabs and that um, very high levels of pyridine were actually found in the crab carcasses. Now, the next stage of dredging, the second stage of dredging, is going to move a million cubic metres of riverbed seven miles out to sea. And the noble lady asked in the previous question, um, did, did ask, is there going to be monitoring of that, very careful monitoring, so we don't have a repeat occurrence? On the farmer situation, uh, about 2,200 have ent entered the Sustainable Farming Incentive to date. That's not particularly surprising because the amount of money that was available was between £22 and £60 a hectare. Now there will be considerably more. Uh, there will be farmers that won't go into the scheme. They will either because they can farm profitably without support or because, for whatever reason. Uh, we monitor or collect data from farms right across the country uh, and it's vital that we do so we know what, what, what crops are being planted and where and it will feed a very important piece of strategic work which I'm sure she will support which is the land use framework which is uh, a piece of work that's coming forward. On the uh, issue of um, uh, that she raises of Dr Gary Caldwell, um, Professor Anderson uh, uh, has been in touch with him on a number of occasions uh, there has been a, a, a rumour that somehow he had been excluded. I think there, are, there is a paper trail of emails between uh, Professor Anderson and uh, Dr. Caldwell. And uh, I can only rely on the evidence that we have seen in the report from the 12 eminent scientists, which indicated that the levels of pyridine were not, uh, could not have been responsible, were very unlikely to be responsible. I've got to be, got to be very precise in our language here. We're very unlikely to be responsible. And, uh, but I, I will keep my, we will keep our minds open and we will make sure that the developments in that area do address the points the Noble Baroness makes. So I draw attention to my farming interests in the register. Uh, 